Hello, I'm Robert Linneman, and this is a short video to show you how within VoiceOver you can actually input text with a keyboard. There are a few different methods of how to do it. One standard typing, um, which is you swipe to change letters, it calls out letters, and then you double tap to actually enter them. Another is touch typing, which will call out the letters, but the letters you put in will touch and then direct touch typing, which is your normal way of typing, um, as well as dictation, but let's get into it. Let's first be able to uh, get into VoiceOver. I'm gonna open up the settings, go to accessibility, and scroll down to the accessibility shortcut. Mine is currently set to VoiceOver, so when I turn it on, by triple tapping, or triple clicking the side button. VoiceOver on, settings. VoiceOver off. VoiceOver will go on and off. If you set another one of these things, when you pull up this uh, thing, an uh, action sheet will come up, and then you can select it. I think this is the best way um, to invoke VoiceOver for me, and you can always ask Siri to turn over voice off, VoiceOver if you get stuck. So let's, let's go to this little sample app. This is an application which I implemented the Dale Chawl readability formula which is 3,000 words that any fourth grader would know, and there's a little formula that shows um, basically what reading level something will be. We can see there's a whole bunch of words in here, um, but we'll go into the calculate score area, and actually uh, we're going to see what type of typing this is set to right now. I believe it's actually set to direct touch typing. Voice over on. T A I spot space is P R E T L comp space P U space F M A L. It's going through period normal operation, um, and you're typing like you're normally typing. So let's check out the other modes. Voice over off. So within um, the accessibility uh, settings, accessibility, you're able to go to voice over and then uh, down to typing. And uh, it was direct touch typing. Uh, we'll check out the um, touch typing. So this is a very similar mode. Oh, uh, let me turn voice over on. Voice over on, Dale Chal. Put in text to calculate score. Text field is at T. Tango. T. T. What you? I. In alter I. I. H. I. O. O. J. U. U. G. C. C. And you see it actually puts in the letters. I go over them and then it puts them in. G. A. H. It's. it's uh, nice because it's probably pretty fast once. Okay, so um, that is touch typing, and then we'll go into the other method, which is standard typing. Voice over on Dale Chal. Put in S. So if I want to actually Sierra. update S, I would double tap. S. F T. T -T -Y. And actually, by swiping left or right, I actually Yankee. get to different letters as well. T R E G H A S A. You know, tapping and holding will also get you the letter. A. But I'll have to go in and actually select the letter. B B S S H H A G F D D. You can see it. It takes a little bit more time. And also another easy way is actually just use dictation, and it's a magic tap, which is double tap. This is just standard dictation. It's a pretty easy thing to do. Inserted this is just standard dictation. It's a pretty easy thing to do. <laughs> Voice over off. I actually have a bug in this program in that I do ducking when the, the keyboard comes up, but since the voiceover screens come up that everything actually disappeared. And in one of the modes, you saw a tiny bit of the text. So I'll have to change that. Um, 
Oh, I calculated the score there. It looks like this is fourth grade or lower, so it's uh, quite easy. Um, but this is an application that's up on GitHub, and it should be, uh, you know, a pretty easy one to use to actually put text in. Here, let me grab a piece of text. And some of these things, we, we don't see these bugs until we get into the, the actual... Um, the actual creating of the program, uh, you know, the, the, the ducking works super great. Um, yeah, see this fifth, sixth grade conversational, but the ducking of the keyboard works really great um, when you're in the one mode, but in other modes it doesn't. Um, and I'll show you another bug I have with this program that I should probably fix. Um, and this is another one with uh, the, um, the search bar. So from within the search bar, uh, oops, I'm actually on my phone here. From within the search bar, um, I'll actually get trapped on there as a regular user with the keyboard because I'm not actually dismissing the keyboard. So this is something where I'll go into this and I can get back in there, but the keyboard's still there. So it would want something to capture the keyboard did end to be able to uh, drop that out. So I hope this gave you a little bit of more idea about accessibility type